This video will cover the assembly and installation of the Naples Naturals Reverse Osmosis Water Purification System. Your Naples Naturals Reverse Osmosis Water Purification System should have arrived with everything you see here. Notice the filter housing assembly. That large, three-pronged structure in the back is already assembled. If your filter housing assembly arrived pre-assembled, as seen here, please skip ahead to 4 minutes and 30 seconds. If not, we will start by covering how to assemble this structure. These are all the components that go into the filter housing assembly. You will also need the filter housing wrench and some Teflon tape, which can be purchased for just a few dollars at your local hardware store. To start, place the sediment filter, the pre-carbon GAC filter, and the pre-carbon carbon block filter into their respective containers. With the Naples Naturals logo visible on the housing assembly, screw in the sediment filter container on the right, the pre-carbon GAC filter container in the middle, and the pre-carbon carbon block filter container on the left, tightening each with the housing wrench. Next, insert the RO element into the RO element container so that the large black rubber seal goes in last. Then, screw on the cap. Next, we're going to screw in the elbows. But before we screw in any elbow, always make sure to wrap the threads in 12 layers of Teflon tape to prevent leaks. Afterward, you can either break or cut the Teflon tape off, making sure to press down the end of the tape so it doesn't stick out. Notice that of the L-shaped elbows, there are two different kinds. Three have smaller threads, like the one shown on the left, and one has larger threads, like the one shown on the right. Having already wrapped each elbow in Teflon tape, screw the large threaded elbow into the narrow side of the inline activated carbon filter. Then screw the T-connector elbow into the wide side. Screw in the remaining three small threaded elbows into the three holes of the RO element container. Now, attach the two filters with the filter clips, making sure the wide side of the inline activated carbon filter is adjacent to the cap of the RO element container. It's now time to set up the automatic shutoff valve, the larger white hunk of plastic, and the flow restrictor valve, the smaller, cylindrical hunk of plastic. Notice that you have five different lengths of tubing. Notice also that the top of the automatic shutoff valve has the word IN on one side and OUT on the other, and on the bottom there are four screws. Take the shortest piece of tubing and insert it on the bottom of the side that says IN. Take the longest piece of tubing and insert it on the top of the side that says IN. Into the side that says OUT, Insert any two of the remaining pieces of tubing. Now, notice the flow restrictor valve has an arrow going from left to right. Insert the last piece of tubing into the left side so that it feeds into the arrow. Now we have to connect the valves to the filters. With the inline activated charcoal filter on top and the screw cap to the RO element container on the left, Insert the tubing from the flow restrictor valve into the bottom right elbow of the RO element container. Into the top right elbow of the RO element container, insert the short tubing from the automatic shutoff valve, leaving the long tubing unattached. Insert the tubing from the bottom of the side that says OUT into the elbow on the cap of the RO element container. Insert the tubing from the top of the side that says OUT into the part of the T-connector elbow that comes out at a 90 degree angle. To finish the housing assembly, clip the RO element container into the top of the filter housing, so that when the Naples Naturals logo is visible in front, the RO element container screw cap is on the right. Whether your filter housing assembly came pre-assembled or not, you will need to screw in the side elbows. Screw an elbow into the hole on the side closest to the pre-carbon carbon block filter. Remember to wrap the threads of each elbow in Teflon tape before screwing them in, to prevent leaking, as discussed earlier in this video. Now, take the long tubing from the automatic shutoff valve and insert it into this elbow. 
screw an elbow into the other side of the filter housing assembly in the same way, but leave this one without tubing for now. Assembling the water storage tank is easy. First, wrap the threads in 12 layers of Teflon tape. Next, screw on the ball valve, making sure not to over tighten. Next, we have to tap the cold water line, which will provide your RO system with water. Having turned the water supply off, loosen the water line by wrench, and then completely disconnect the line. Insert the feed adapter into the water line. Your feed adapter may look like the one on the left, or the one on the right. In the video, we are using the one on the right. Finish by reconnecting the water line, tightening by wrench. The impurities your RO system filters out have to go somewhere, so the Naples Natural System will send them down the drain. For this, we need to tap into the drain line. Punch out the center hole from the foam pad, then remove the paper backing and adhere it to the back of the top bracket of the drain saddle valve so that the holes line up. Place the top bracket on your drain pipe and mark where the hole is with a drill bit or a marker. Remove the top bracket and drill a hole into the pipe. If your drain pipe has a P-trap, as shown in this picture, make sure to drill above the P-trap, as the trap itself is filled with water. Clamp the front and the back brackets of the drain saddle valve around the drain pipe by screwing them together. Make sure the hole on the top bracket lines up with the hole you just drilled. The parts shown here will all be necessary to assemble your faucet. After having drilled a hole in your counter, place the metal cover plate over the faucet hole. Then, insert the threaded shaft of the faucet through the hole in the metal cover plate and the counter so that it protrudes beneath the counter. From beneath, slide the white plastic washer up the threaded shaft of the faucet. Next, slide up the black rubber washer, the metal washer, and the star washer. Finally, thread the narrow nut all the way up the shaft and tighten by wrench. Unlike the narrow nut on the left, the wide nut has one small opening and one large opening. Slide the wide nut onto the blue tubing, narrow opening first. Slide the plastic ferrule one quarter inch down the blue tubing, and then press the tubing insert into the end of the blue tubing, locking the ferrule in place. Now place the blue tubing tip to tip with the threaded shaft under the counter. Thread the wide nut onto the shaft of the faucet and tighten by wrench. The final step in the installation will be to connect all the pieces with tubing. Take the orange tubing and cut it in half. Use the straight valve to reconnect the two halves. Insert either end of the orange tubing into the feed adapter in the cold water line. Insert the other end into the side elbow of the filter housing assembly nearest the sediment filter. Insert one end of the yellow tubing into the T-connector elbow on the inline activated carbon filter, and the other end into the water tank. You will have to unscrew the white nut from the ball valve, insert the tubing, and then screw the nut back in to tighten the connection. Insert one end of the black tubing into the flow restrictor valve, and the other end into the drain saddle valve. Finally, Insert the blue tubing from the faucet into the narrow end of the inline activated carbon filter. Your Naples Naturals reverse osmosis water purification system has now been assembled and installed. Before drinking from it, flush the system out as described in the user manual. This should take a few hours. Your sediment filter, pre-carbon GAC filter, and pre-carbon carbon block filter will last six months before needing to be replaced. The RO element and inline activated carbon filter will last a year. To order replacement filters, please visit naplesnaturals.com.